Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a lamina problem. A hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm rests on one of its corner on HP. The corner opposite to the corner on which it rests is 35 mm above HP, and the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections. Find the inclination of the surface with HP. So it is a hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side resting on HP with one of its corner. The corner opposite to the resting corner is 35 mm above HP. Whereas diagonal passing through the resting corner makes an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So phi is equal to 30 degree. As it is diagonal, it is a locus problem. So draw a horizontal line name this one as x5 vp hp now construct a hexagonal lamina on in hp with one of its corner So this will be 60 degree. So horizontal line. So this one. This is 25 mm. Yeah? Name A, B, C, D, E, yeah. Now project the points to the X value. A to X value. B and F are on the same line to the XY line. C and E are on the same line to the XY line. D to XY line. Join these endpoints with thick line. A dash. B and C are visible, whereas F and E are invisible. So it will be B dash in the bracket f dash similarly c dash in the bracket e dash b dash and next to draw the first we'll show the arrow one To draw the second position, he has not given theta. Instead of that one, he has given the corner opposite to the resting corner is 35 mm above HP. So the resting corner is A, opposite to this corner is D. Means A dash and D dash we have to consider. This D dash is 35 mm above HP. Above HP is nothing but above the X line. First, draw horizontal line. The distance between these two lines should be 35 mm. The distance between this horizontal line and the XY line is 35 mm. Now, take this A dash D dash length, that is 50 mm. Anywhere on this x y line as center, 50 mm as radius, cut an arc. Find those endpoints with thick line. This is A dash. This one is D dash. Now you can observe 
a dash is the resting corner that is a is the resting corner opposite to this resting corner is d so that d dash is 35 mm above the hp so still we have to mark b dash in the bracket f dash and c dash in the bracket a dash to mark that one the dimension will be 12.5 similarly this is also 12.5 so a dash as center 12.5 mm as radius draw an arc similarly d dash as center 12.5 mm as radius draw another arc this will give us b dash in the bracket f dash also c dash in the bracket a dash Now project the points in downward direction. Horizontal also. F and R, F and D are on the same line. Similarly, A and D and B and C. A, B, C, D, E, F. Join all the six points with a thick line. A to B to C to D to E, F back to E. So the arrow marks. He has asked this angle that is find the inclination of the surface with HP that is theta he has asked. Angle between these two is 44 degree. Now next, diagonal passing through the resting corner. Resting corner is A. The diagonal passing through that corner is AD. So that has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So the original length is 50 mm. Now it is changed to 35.71 mm. As the dimension reduced, so it is a locus problem. First draw a 30 degree line. First draw a 30 degree line. This angle will be 30 degree. Now anywhere on this line as center, draw an arc of 50 mm radius. That is original length. And from this end point, draw horizontal line. From the same center, draw another arc of 35.71 mm radius. From the same center, draw another arc of 35.71 mm radius on this line. So join those two points. So this is a T, whereas this one is A.
So AD we got. Next, to get remaining four corners, we'll draw these two lines. That is line joining F and B and line joining E and C. These two are perpendicular to the AD. So first we have to mark these intersection points. For that one, the dimension is 8.93. This side also same thing, 8.93. DS center 8.93 mm as radius, draw an arc. Similarly, AS center 8.93 mm as radius, draw another arc. So, from these points, we have to draw the line perpendicular to AD. That line length will be. Twenty one point six five from this end point line perpendicular to AD that is twenty one point six five mm. Similarly, this side also opposite side also twenty one point six five. Mm. This is also 21.65 mm. This is also 21.65 mm. Similarly, from this end point also. 21.65 mm. And opposite side. 2C2D2E yeah, back to E. Before projecting in the upward direction, first project horizontally from this point. Now project vertically. A, A dash is on X by line till X by line. B and F are on this line till that line. C and E are on this line till this line. As D on this line. A dash. This one is A dash. B dash. C dash. E dash. F dash. Join all the six points with thick line. A dash to B dash. To C dash, to D dash, E dash, F dash, back to E dash. So we have to mention this theta along with that one as it is a locus problem we have to mention this apparent inclination also for that one 
extend this line AD till SY line. Now measure the angle between line XY and this AD. That is 44 degree. Theta. Which is equal to 44 degree. 